Hello everybody, it's Christine. It is time for our Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog kit reveal for August. So I'm gonna show you the inspiration first and then I'll show you kind of what I've pulled out and where I got it and all that kind of good junk. So the inspiration kit is from, it's actually a European shop and we'll have links and stuff. Like I'll have a description of links and you can go over to the blog to get more information. Um, but I think it's called Pink and Paper and it's a fairly new kit. I think it's brand new. Um, and it's like a membership or something. So, and it's out of Europe. So you'd have to kind of check that out if you're in Europe. I mean, I have some, some subbies over there, so y'all check them out. And it's based off of her, she's only got two photos on the website, but she does list all the contents. So I'm just from a photo perspective, I'll show you this. She's kind of got this little bit here and it's from happy. It's a cocoa vanilla happy days, but then also Paige Evans. Um, Radiant is the name of the little thing here. And then like, here's all the various papers. So that was kind of a close up of this stuff, but here's all the various papers. And then of course she's got a couple of ephemera kits and titles and hearts and stuff. So let me show you something. I decided this month to go out of my paper pads because I have these paper pads and some of these are very, very old. Um, I got these from Tuesday morning, so who knows? I pulled out, there is a sheet, if you, well, I'll show you real quickly. So there's this little, oops, sorry guys. There's this little like this piece here. So I got that out of this set here. And it's called uh, Momentous Artist Series Cardstock, I don't know, Ashley Malbert. It's kind of old. And then I bought, I got a couple of things out of this set here, which is a Prima Marketing, uh, Julie Nutting Traveling Girl. And it's from 2019. So it's not terribly old, but it's a little old. And then I got some stuff out of this Material Girls GCD Studios. I don't know where I got this. I feel like it was like a... Michaels or Hobby Lobby or something. And I don't have a date on this or anything, but it's a little bit old as well. And then I have Good Vibes, which I got it Tuesday morning by Crate Paper. This is really cute. I got that honestly for the llamas, y'all. <laughs> and I may end up getting back into this because there are cut aparts. That's not shining our inspiration, but there are these cute, I'm oh, sorry, I bumped the, bumped the camera. Um, there are these cute cut aparts and stuff in this pad. So I may end up getting back in here, but that's where I pulled the papers from. So what I've got is now in the kit, let me see, if I put this here, you can kind of see maybe, let's do this. So there's a scallop, I don't have a rainbow scallop, but there's this little scallop here, it does have foiling on it. Then she had this, uh, or there's this um, like zebra on pink paper. So I got these little birds, because it's little animals, and it's on white obviously or cream, but it's uh, little pink birds. Then there's actually like a, this little plaid here or gingham or something. I didn't, ha I didn't have that, but I did have these stripes in that yellow. And then I went with the, this words here and I got two different options there. One of the pads here had this like girly one. And then this one has like just letters. So I don't think there's actual words in there. I've never looked. It's like a word find type deal or like an eyeglass deal, but thought I could use either one of those. Then this has this blue, with pink flowery looking stuff. And I just kind of did again, the opposite in a sense. I got pink with blue on it. And then this is a floral with a white, but I got this floral with a black. I really like this. This is kind of pretty. It's got all these little like, one of these partridges or something. Kind of reminds me of, like partridge in a pear tree type deal. Y'all remember the partridge family? <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna be that little sheet. And then I did have this little tone on tone pink here, which kind of goes like that. And then I've kind of got this like little greenish teal colors here. And I thought those look pretty good, kind of close to those. And here's that pitch paper I mentioned to you just a moment ago, this like alcohol Lincoln thing that kind of goes like with that. And then this I'm kind of using instead of this bluish here, I'm going with the purple just cause that's kind of what I had. It's like a tone on tone. I think this month I'm gonna be doing a lot of labs with my daughter. <laughs> um, this one's kind of a neutral heart but it kind of reminded me like of this, this here. So that's kind of what I'm going with here. And then I didn't have any butterfly ombres, or if I do, I probably have it in a hip kit or some such, but I didn't go looking. So again, I was focusing on my paper pads, but this was kind of not ombre necessarily, but it reminded me, it's got the blue and the pink. Um, they're little perfume bottles. So again, girly stuff. And then this little guy here, I thought this looked kind of like that. So that's what I got in the way of papers. And <coughs> so sorry, you guys. <coughs> sorry about that. Um, in the way of like this stuff, so I did have this like, um, where's that? I did have this, which is this and that. And I think this might've been a Paige Evans collection. I don't remember, but it looks kind of like it. And I'm gonna see if I can make this work. It's kind of brightly colored like this one. Some of these colors probably won't work, but some will. So I went ahead and pulled out some additional, like these ones here, 
you know, various different little titles and stuff like that that could be used. This is Happy Day. So I think this is Happy Day. So maybe it did go together at the time. And then I have additional little titles in here. There's like a Hey Sunshine, Hard Eyes. I think I can make some of these work. Then from like an ephemera standpoint, I just honestly just pulled out, this actually was in my June kit, but I thought, you know what, I didn't really use much of it, so I'm gonna pull it out. And then I've just pulled out a bunch of little baggies, y'all, of stuff. I'll have to go through them. And then I have this, this one, the, the oranges won't work, but there are some other colors in here that might work. So I'm hanging on to that. I found this like clearance basic gray <laughs> dimensional florals, we'll see. Um, and I, then I pulled out my Spectrum Gardenia, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to hoard this away from myself because I do have my Spectrum Gardenia over there, but I did think these pinks and things look really pretty with some of these. So I'm going to set this in here, and then there's these little hearts here. Now, these are a little more pastel than shown here, but I still think it'll work. So that's what I'm starting with. If I'm honest with you, just like last month, I'll end up probably pulling st some stuff out of stash at some point, maybe, because I'll get inspired by something and go, oh, I know I have an XYZ thing. But that's the kit I'm starting with, guys. I'm really proud of myself for my paper selection. And I'm hopeful that I have enough. I'm pretty sure I have enough. Because I did a good job last month. I did not use all my kit. I used a lot of it. Um, but not all of it. So I feel like I've got a pretty good start here. This is something I think I can do over the month. And of course, keep an eye. We'll have um, different posts throughout the month. And I'm on challenge two again. So make sure you count that's uh, on the 18th. So I'll have another video for sure there. And then I'll use this same kit on a few other layouts on, on process videos. So... Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out the blog and all the other ladies' kits. There's usually some reveals on Instagram as well. My Instagram is at Scrapping Harden, so make sure you check that out. And, of course, at Counterfeit Kit. No, Counterfeit Kit Challenge, yeah, is also on Instagram. So, see y'all later. Bye.